kit components. 1. Package insert 20. Individually sealed foil pouch pack test devices 20. Extraction tubes 20 packs of swab 2 swabs per pack 1. Workstation 2. Dilution buffer vials 12 mm per vial 1. Positive control swab On request only Open the package and take out one swab Insert one swab into one nostril of the patient. The swab tip should be inserted up to 2.5 centimeters, one inch, from the edge of the nostril. Roll the swab five times along the mucosa inside the nostril to ensure that both mucus and cells are collected. Use the same swab. Repeat this process for the other nostril to ensure that an adequate sample is collected from both nasal cavities. Withdraw the swab from the nasal cavity and put the swab front end into extraction tube against the tube and break off the swab at the break point. Take out another swab. Use another swab into the oropharynx and scrape left and right side pharynx mucous membrane two times. Withdraw the swab from the mouth and put the swab front end into extraction tube against the tube and break off the swab at the break point. Let the swab tip fall into the tube. Then add 20 drops of dilution buffer to the extraction tube. Mix the solution by squeezing the swab forcefully against the side of the tube for at least 10 times while submerged. The best results are obtained when the specimen is mixed in the solution. Allow the swab to soak in the dilution buffer for one minute prior to the next step. Remove the test device from its sealed pouch and place it on a clean, level surface. Add 3 drops, approximately 100 microliters, of extracted sample from the extraction tube to the round sample well on the test device. Wait for the colored bands to appear. The result should be read by visual at 15 minutes. Do not interpret the results after 30 minutes. One blue band appears in the control zone within 15 minutes. Two colored bands appear within 15 minutes. One blue band appears in the control zone. And another red band appears in the test zone. The test result is positive and valid. No matter how faint the red band appears in the test zone, the test result should be considered as positive result. No red band appears in the test zone. The test result is negative and valid. No blue band appears in the control zone within 15 minutes. The test result is invalid. Repeat the test with a new test device.